And then lastly, um, we get on to the phase of once you've gone live, what's next? What's some of the work that continues? Um, or, or that's new? Yeah? What do you need to be aware of when running an S4 system versus an ECC system? So, Ross, I think back over to you. Yeah, thanks, David. So, um, one of the things, one of our customers that kind of started their S4 HANA migration a few years ago, and actually I noticed one of the attendees is one of the, uh, the people at that customer. Um, we, they, they kind of fed back that some, some S4 HANA objects, specifically CDSU extensions, are act, actually take quite a long time to import, you know, one or two hours. And what they found, so this is a, an SAP customer that's got high transport volumes, what they found was that that became a bottleneck to deploying other changes with other objects to their, their S4 HANA test and production systems. Um, so, yeah, we Basis Technologies works with that customer and SAP to build some functionality called parallel imports, which basically allows customers that are already on S4 HANA that are experiencing those kind of long import deployment times for certain S4 HANA objects to be able to do safe parallel imports of different transports containing completely different objects in parallel at the same time. So this was yeah something that you know that we we built in, in our products in the back of customer feedback working with that customer in SAP. Um, but it's, it's something that other customers have started using as well as they as they've gone live with um, with S4 HANA. So it's, it's, it's definitely something to be aware of, particularly for for customers that do have high transport volumes that they're going to be wanting to push through their, their S4 HANA test uh, production systems, etc. David, do you want to talk a little bit about Clean Core? Certainly. So obviously, a lot of you can't really uh, kind of read much from SAP these days without coming across the the term Clean Core. Um, and, and that, that really kind of is both SAP and the customer's kind of uh, goal or benefit to be able to, to decouple um, the custom solutions that a customer has from, from upgrades. So obviously you're going to get to S4, but even when you're on S4, there will be future uh, upgrades that are necessary. Some customers might be very aggressive and upgrade quite frequently every two years or, or even more frequently if they want the cutting edge kind of uh, feature pack stacks that get released. Um, alternatively, other customers may say, I'm gonna do that as infrequently as possible, but that will still be around every kind of five to six years given the, the kind of release cadence and maintenance um, life cycle of the releases. Um, now, the, in principle, the clean core means that the way in which a custom solution is interacting with the, the S4 system is to some degree independent or decoupled from that upgrade. So it should continue to work, um, which makes it easier and faster to upgrade with uh, ideally uh, less testing, less refactoring, uh, less retraining. Um, and, and that's possible both in terms of what we call an on-stack extensibility approach or a side-by-side -side extensibility approach. So again, SAP is pushing heavily their BTP, their business technology platform, as one of the ways to extend an S4 solution um, in, a, in a clean core compatible way. Um, but you can also continue to do on stack um, extensions uh, in a clean core compatible way. But that means you have to be using released APIs, you have to be using ABAP syntax that is considered clean core or ABAP cloud um, compatible. Um, and, and the overall intention is, like I said, to make upgrades more efficient, make it easier to consume 
upgrades in the future uh, and to enable faster innovation uh, on the customer side. Um, now, again, you'll have seen these slides before, um, but another aspect of transformation insight is highlighting the clean core related findings. So this is probably something you will do in a phased way, not in a big bang way. Um, once you are on an S4 release, um, if you're doing a lift and shift, you may even do it as part of that um, lift and shift activity because you're only bringing across a, sub, a small subset of your existing custom code. Um, but this can help identify or highlight for this custom solution uh, how many clean core related findings are there um, and, and how do they kind of break out across the different objects that make up that solution. That may help you in, again, in kind of estimating the work. It may also be useful as you're thinking about, do I keep this um, as an on-stack uh, extension or do I move this and totally refactor it into something that is uh, a BTP extension? Again, these depend, whether or not you do one or the other depends very much on the use case, uh, depending on how closely coupled the solution is, how much data it needs, et cetera, may lend itself towards more of an on-stack extension in the future still. Or alternatively, um, the more loosely coupled it is, the more other users, um, especially kind of users that are not typically logging into the S4 system are involved, et cetera, et cetera, may lend itself more towards side-by-side um, -side extensibility. Um, now, equally, what's important is not just getting clean, but staying clean or making sure that you don't get any worse um, in terms of your existing code. So, Ross, do you want to walk us through this one? Yeah, so, you know, SAP themselves, they provide some, some really useful standard SAP checks, ABAP test cockpit, ATC, things for sure. Um, that does some checks to enforce the you know stability and clean core of, of your S your S4 HANA systems. Um, so these checks um, are automatic, which is great. Within Active Control, we can run those automatically at the point of doing some testing. You know before the transport gets released during a peer review. Um, ultimately, you know before those transports leave your 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 development system. So again, you know, it's automated. It helps increase the, the visibility of any issues, uh, the dirtying of your, your system that you might be doing otherwise, um, and ultimately helps, you know, to David's point, helps SAP customers ensure that their new, their new S4 HANA um, systems stay clean, they don't get polluted. Um, yeah, another thing to Worth mentioning is you know the fact that you've gone live with S4 HANA, your your ECC has been retired. A lot of the stuff that we've been talking about so far to you know automate dual maintenance, you'll you'll still you'll you almost certainly still be using that when you're when you're on S4 HANA um, completely. So starting with uh, S4 HANA 2023, SAP moved to a two-year release cycle with you know every seven years that each releases is maintained for. So most SAP customers, based on that, are likely to be upgrading their, their S4 HANA every four, five, six, seven years, depending on their appetite for the new SAP innovations that, that each release offers. So for those customers, most of them will be doing the traditional spinning up a, you know, a, a project track, a, new, a project development system to do the up release upgrade in, so that they're not impacting their production support. So all the stuff that we talked about earlier, the you know the conflict analysis, the, the active control merge to to synchronise the stuff between the production support and the upgrade track, it's all still going to be relevant. David, do you, do you want to talk a little bit more about some of the other stuff that automation that can help? Off mute. Um, yeah, just one final kind of reference or nod back to transformation insight, like we said earlier the simplification 
item list continues to expand from one release to the next. So even in an S4 to S4 upgrade, you may find new simplification items that are applicable to your custom code that weren't applicable or weren't even kind of there at the point in time when you upgraded, especially if you, you kind of went early to S4 and went to 1509 or 1610 or 1711 or something like that. If you're now stepping up to 2023, you could have a, a, another kind of of simplification item related work 